Hi everyone, it's Catherine, and today I'm going to be sharing more of my tips all about College Move-In Day Guide. But obviously, since I'm just one little person going to college here, I brought two more college ladies to give you some advice, so... Hi, I'm Brooke, I go to UGA, and I'm going to be talking about the first week of college, like what to expect, and all that good stuff. Perfect. And I'm Anne Marie, and I'm going to be doing a video on how to prepare for a successful school year. <laughs> so if you watch this video and you want some other perspectives, other views, go ahead and click down to their channels below. But if not, we'll get started with this one. So the most popular video I have ever made was a college move-in day vlog. Many of you might have seen this. If not, it's linked up here and down below. But it's the most popular because it really shows like exactly every step of the day of how I moved in. But what I didn't do in that video is give you guys tips, give you guys a general rundown of how to do it all. So these are going to be my top seven tips for you moving into your freshman dorm or even like your sophomore, junior year housing. Number one, if you do know the building you're living in, and you probably should know that, <laughs> hardcore research the layout of your room. Like do not spare any detail, like look up any pictures, like Google it, look on YouTube for any dorm tours. I have one up for USC if you want to see what it was like to live in the suites. Like look up every single room layout so you can really get familiar with what you can expect to be in your room. You want to know if there's a dresser and a closet, just a closet, just a dresser. You want to know, you know, how much space there'll be under your bed. You want to know if your desk is going to have drawers or not, because that means you're going to have to bring extra storage. You want to do a really good job of being absolutely sure what's already there in the room. That way you can start to establish what you need to be bringing into the room with you. Number two, once you start to get packing, and I have a lot of videos to tell you some essentials that you should pack for college. I'm not gonna tell you how to organize all of your boxes because it really, really depends on where you're coming from, where you're moving to, like all of that stuff. So you can organize the boxes how you will, but I would recommend keeping your cleaning supplies readily available. So just bring some Clorox wipes, maybe something to dust with, a hand vacuum, because when you first get into that room, it might not be as clean as you want. And the worst thing to do is to move all your stuff in and then realize you want to clean the floor and you want to clean the countertops and the beds dirty like you want to get that out of the way first so make sure your cleaning products aren't like way down in the bottom of any of your boxes number three I'm going in kind of chronological order here by the way so kind of from start to finish what you should be thinking about during this process but number three as you're packing as well make sure you're bringing extra batteries and tons of command hooks because you're not gonna be able to poke holes in the wall like just bring any possible assortment of those especially batteries like you might forget those and you might not even use something the night of when you first move in and you might not have that readily available so try to bring those extras with you first off just so you don't have to worry about that one piece number four once you've arrived to your college town and you're on your campus and you're getting ready to move in hopefully you'll have more than just you there but if it's just you that's totally fine if you do have one or two other people I'd recommend sending one person to go wait in line for one of those huge bins I've seen on most college move-in days that they'll have like these huge bins that roll around you can put them in the elevator and bring like literally your entire rooms worth of stuff up in one bin but there tend to be huge lines for those because they don't have an unlimited supply Apply. So send one person to go wait for those that way the rest of you can get started on some other stuff while they're doing that So the stuff you want to get started on is checking out the room again You want to make sure that it's as clean as you want it in case you do want to clean before the stuff comes in And then you also want to make sure the room is in the layout you want it So back to tip number one when you research the room layout you should have been thinking about you know Do I want the beds on stacked or stacked? You should be talking to your roommate about like what things you're sharing or what room layout you want but if you get there and your first one there really make sure you know where you want your bed to be positioned how you want to move your desk and your dresser and all of that and do that first because it gets to be so crowded once you start bringing your stuff in or your roommate starts bringing their stuff in so really while someone's waiting for those bins have someone delegated to go preferably you because you know what you want the room to be to go check everything make sure it's right and then bring another person up with you to move around the furniture to the position before you get that bin and bring everything up before I slide into my next tip, if you've read any good tips I haven't included thus far, or if you've experienced move-in day, or if your siblings or parents have, if you have anything you think would be worthwhile to tell other people, please comment that down below. I want this video to kind of be a forum for all move-in day help, since I personally was very anxious and very nervous about it. No one really gave me a whole guide step-by-step -step to move-in day. If you have a different perspective than mine coming from an international location or moving in late or anything like that, you can help others out by commenting. So once you have your key to the room and you know the furniture layout and it's all clean and you have that bin, it's time to load it all up 
And here's where I'm not going to tell you what to do and how to do it. I really think it just depends on the kind of stuff you bring and the order you want to do it in. So just load the bin however you'd like. What I found helpful at this point was sort of delegating out the tasks so you can get this done in the most effective manner possible because there probably are going to be a ton of people coming in and out. So once you're in that room and you have the stuff, have one person get started on the beds, putting all that together. Have one person get started putting the clothes into the closet and on hangers and everything. And then maybe you can get started working with the storage bins and your desk and those items just to help spread the load. Number seven, once you're getting going, you're in the groove of unpacking everything and setting up your room. If you notice you miss something and it's kind of inevitable that you're gonna realize you forgot something at home or there's an item you didn't think you need but you now need, it's just really hard to have that foresight when you're not in college already or you're not in that space already. If you're missing something, write it down, put it on your phone, put it on a notepad, put it on something, but don't just run out to Walgreens or CVS right at that moment. Chances are you're gonna have a rolling list of stuff you're forgetting as you start to finish unpacking. So please just, if you want to save yourself some time and effort of driving all around, wait until your room is set up to your liking, you know, as complete as possible, and then take a running tally of what is really, really missing in your room. And you can go out and run and get those things at one time instead of a bunch of little trips. Finally, just relax, drink water, make sure you're well fed, make sure you're not yelling at your parents. I know this is a very stressful time with a lot of people and a lot of moving parts, quite literally, but this probably will be your last exposure to your parents and your first exposure to those around you. Just set up your room to the best of your ability. If something goes wrong, there is always Amazon, which has free shipping and can send you that item. And I'm sure there are stores in your college town, I would hope that. So just be present in the moment and I wish you all the best. Some more tips other than that for your first few weeks of college can be found on these ladies' channels. So I will have their faces imitated and also, of course, their channels down below. So please subscribe. And if you're not subscribed to me, click that red button if you're from either of their channels. And give it a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. do that. Why Thank not? you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. And Catherine out.